liked it for that. It was just a sort of bold statement about the experience in this really um, artistic, interpretive format, um, which I thought really actually lent itself really well to the message here, which is an important message and uh, needs to get spread around as much as possible. So uh, for that reason alone, I'm glad this one exists. But there's just a lot of good filmmaking going on here, and it's definitely for that reason also worth checking out. It's a bold opening. So strong. Really appreciate the artistic essence of this film and the contrast that the filmmaker took in taking such an ugly part of our history, but then adding this beautiful artistic dance and self-expression and married the two. Thought the music was beautifully added to the piece and helped just really bridge that story and thought strong camera work and I liked that it left you with yet a sense of hope uh, for where we can go from here and thought it was just a really beautifully artistic piece. High praise going out there to Ivory Leonard the fourth um, for directing, producing, and dancing as the escaped slave who comes face to face with the direct proof of America's disastrous racism in America. Um, I would also like to credit Deontay Thomas for filming the elaborate production. Um, it's uh, he turns the brute after the 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 realization. He turns the moment into a powerful moment of poetic ballet to which I would also like to credit William Gillis for choreographing, um, interpreting, interpreting the uh, pain and fear that existed in savage countryside of America. Um, there are a lot of things that worked in the film, particularly the, uh, the latter half of the music, I thought, Nina's, Nina Simone's soundtrack, as well as Sam Cooke's closing out songs I thought uh, worked particularly well as well as Kanye West's excited music which really helped move the program forward um, it really as far as the um, intermittent nar uh, narrative components it made me want to look up the curse of ham and uh, realize uh, really investigate the 1870s as a pivotal moment of racist America, very informative. It was horrifying seeing all the photos of lynchings. Um, it was just like such a heartbreaking thing to have to view. Um, and it was also extremely scary watching him run through the forest and like the whole time he's running, we hear the dog, like the dogs barking in the background and the meaning and the roots behind that are so much deeper than like what it might first appear to be. Um, his movement was very powerful and it like demanded our attention and the audience's attention to watch him move and like see his story through his body. And I think that worked really well. Um, I also noticed like how he stopped running after he saw the rope. It was also, it was almost as though he knew his fate and then we kind of see that happening at the end. So I think it was very full circle. And I think this was a very important film. And I think that it was like just well portrayed and I really enjoyed watching it. Oh, such a powerful piece, especially just right off the bat at the beginning. Uh, got me right into it. And the, the soundscape, those throbbing beats in the background uh, paired with the the image of the noose was jolting and the images <laughs> just letting them sink in they're just unimaginable unimaginable and so disturbing but this piece did it in a way that was not just for shock value it let you have the time to to sink in with it and i loved ending with that movement piece the, it was so evocative and emotional and there was so much space and breath to it um, 
just a really important piece. It kind of splits itself in two by in first giving some historical context uh, before moving on to the truly creative material of the piece, which is an interpretive dance uh, in the middle of a field nearby a tree that has a lynching noose on it. And both the pictures, the historical pictures that are used as well as the dancing itself really drive home the brutality, the inhumanity, and the degradation that is associated with these barbaric violent acts and reminds us that it really is uh, soaked into our history and blood and that the pain from it is very difficult to ever imagine being dissipated simply by time and nor should it be. Pieces like this remind us that these are parts of our history and what we must do is be um, vigilant to not forget them and to ensure that they are the past and no longer our present or future. This was so impactful and powerful and like almost horrific, but I think that was the intention. Um, the beginning section with uh, him running and the camera work was like so shaky and it seemed to convey, at least to me, um, such fear. And I thought that that all was done really well with the running through the kind of nature and everything like that. And like I said, how they use the unsteadiness of the camera to really add um, like feeling and emotional depth to what was already going on in the scene, I thought was really clever. It was well produced. Um, the angles of the camera that were used to capture this uh, frightened man were captured with such a sense of urgency that I myself uh, felt the fear of death in my mind as the viewer while I was watching. Um, I felt that pain. The camera persons did a remarkable job following the dancer and knowing exactly how to capture the dancer uh, during the choreography, which angles worked, um, zooms in and zoom out. Um, as a result, we're left with a very powerful dance, uh, and the camera person definitely captured it in a way that wasn't cheesy as well. Like, it was uh, very intimate and just right. So, um, there's definitely a, an edgy and unrefined style here that worked so well with this piece, and the soundtrack really tied everything in together, um... And I really did enjoy uh, taking in this project. Uh, this film had really amazing camera work. The shaky camera and POV shots at the beginning really helped to create an atmosphere of fear and panic. Um, so you really felt like you were kind of running with the character as well. I had goosebumps throughout, especially with the, the clips and the flashes of the, um, the real lynchings that did take place. The dancer did such an incredible job performing and connecting with the song and the lyrics and just the experience. Um, I think the last clip really brought everything full circle. We like to think mistakenly that like lynchings are a thing of the past and slavery is a thing of the past, but this brutal violence has just simply evolved. Um, in so many ways in America today. So I, I thought this, this was a really good moving emotional piece, but also had a lot of, um, information and, and strong storytelling. So I think the filmmakers did an incredible job and especially shout out to the performer.